Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Death or Glory, shall we? This dueling card game is a PvP game, but it also has a PvE component, kind of like Slay the Spire. And it is, I uh, from what I've seen, something like Street Fighter meets card games, and I'm really excited to see how this plays out, so let's just boot up the tutorial. Now this demo is open to anyone who wants to play uh, this weekend, September 1st through, I believe, the 4th in 2023, uh, Labor Day weekend. So if you're interested, just go over to Steam and try this out. All right, I'm going to do the tutorial and attack and defense. Let's see how we play this game, shall we? Go. All right, the Grand Arena, a place where one's worthiness is only measured by his strength in combat. Victory is the only concern for those who fight, while nobody remembers the defeated. Countries at war have settled disputes through trial by combat, and crimes are forgiven when the accused garner the approval of the crowd. Wow. Look, I know I did some bad stuff, but I'm a really good fighter. I mean, come on. All right, let's see. Here we go, and we're going to start it up. Follow my instruction and attack him. Okay, so I've got like a tutorial fairy. Let's go. Who are you? Your first battle, little guy? Are you scared? Whoa, this guy is jacked. Well, I wasn't, and now I'm a little bit concerned. Um, okay, so here are my cards down here. I've got downward cut. Looks like it does five damage. I don't know what the blue means, if this is my energy. Um, I have 25 hit points. That much appears to be clear. Um, I have the initiative. So they want me to play straight thrust, which does four damage, I guess. All right, so the opponent's reacting. I did straight thrust. They'll take more than that, kid. All right, so... That's a good start. You've done some damage. Okay, so the red number is damage. This number is the damage value of the card, indeed. This number indicates the remaining health of your opponent. Sure. If it reaches zero, he will be defeated. Got it. Now keep attacking. Um, okay. So uh, I just play this, I guess, and they're reacting, and I chop them up. And then... I don't know, I chop him up again? Uh oh, he's blocking me. What happened? Reversal. Don't get over your head, little boy. That's oh, I forgot to teach you about blocking. He can now die. Quick, let me help you. Um, please react or pass. The green number is the block value. Okay. So we got a block card. Go block his attack with a new card. Okay, so we get to react, and we're going to react with this. Bam, I raised my shield. Not bad for a punk. You're darn right. I wore a shirt to this fight. You will pay for this. Don't worry. After a successful block, you'll have control. Use these faster attacks to defeat him. Um, okay, faster. I don't know, maybe the blue is the speed? Opponent reacting. This attack is too fast for him to block. Oh, okay, so maybe the blue... Um, how do we know that? Yes, okay, so this is the speed. He can only block if his block speed is faster or equal. Okay, that's really cool. All right. Otherwise, he has to discard if he blocks with a slower card. Oh, wow, and you don't even know. You have to, like, play the reaction blind and hope that it works. All right, we'll do this one. Preemptive strike. I'll show you. Um, I hope not. All right. What do I do? I have no cards left. You'll have to pass when you cannot play any card. It's all right. Go ahead. Try passing. All right, I'll pass. I passed. It's his turn. Brutus, 
Oh my god, he's coming at me. I'm fast too. He is. Ow. Uh, reactor pass. I have to pass. I don't have anything. Oh my god, look at him kick me in the face. Use these to defend yourself. Alright, so he's going to do flying kick. Now, I can actually see what he's doing, so it's not blind. So I'm going to play this and raise my shield. Why do I have to discard now? Please discard one card. One more card will be discarded. Oh, sometimes you have to block with a slower card. That causes you to discard. Oh, just drag a card to the bin. Okay, well, you can do it. You just have to discard. Interesting. Don't pass. Finish him off. Oh, okay. Use this to finish him. Oh, yeah. That does 12 damage. And it's, you know, quite fast. Shattering Shockwave. Brutality. Don't underestimate the little guy. Play attack cards to damage your opponent and defend against attacks with reaction cards. You draw a card when your block is faster and you discard when your block is slower. Oh, that's interesting. Control is switched to your opponent when an attack fails and no damage has been done. Interesting. Okay. All right, chapter two, card effects. Let's go. It was a stroke of luck that you survived the last battle. I don't know about that. It would have been certain death had you not received help from the mysterious fairy. I know, Tutorial Fairy is on it. Not only was his ability fantastical, but nobody seemed to have noticed his presence. You've not interacted with their kinds before, so now you cannot tell if what happened was par for the course for them. Yet, you are very much in his debt. This is just the beginning, though. The coming battles will be tougher. You hope he could stay by your side. It was a stroke of luck that you survived the last battle. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. We're next. Go next. It was a stroke of genius that we survived the last battle. All right. Start. Ka, ka, ka. I'm no knucklehead like Brutus. Um, no. Come see if what I have cooked up for you. Uh, she only has 10 health, or he only has... I don't know what that is. They, they only have 10 health. All right, so let's see if I could cut him. They're reacting, and they have the hardened staff, which was played correctly. Um, too weak. Vile concoction. Uh-oh. Apply one poison to your opponent. He takes one damage at the end of every turn. Now, I can play this and block some of it. My block didn't work? Why? Um... Because her damage is stronger than your block value. Right, it went by one more. Yeah, that was brutal. That's a good ability right there. The attack is successful. Damage unblocked will lower your health. As well as triggering the text box. So interesting. So if I would have blocked for full, the effect wouldn't have worked. Let's play some more. Um, her poison will damage you at the end of every turn. So what should I do? You cannot allow yourself to be poisoned again. Quick, stop her with this. Um, okay. Arcane protection. Wow, it blocks full and removes poison. That seems like the right card to play. Checkmate. Magical. It was magical. Reversal. If your block is successful at preventing all the damage, the text box effects also trigger. Okay. Cheering the poison. No, you removed my beautiful concoction. I did. But you still won't leave this place alive. That's ominous. Now is my chance. Try to form a combo with these cards. All right, so this says, apply stun to your opponent. Um, opponents cannot play any cards while stunned. This effect is removed at the end of the turn or when he takes damage. So we don't want to play that one first. We'll play this one. While your opponent is stunned. Oh, never mind. Oh, I see. I'm going to... I didn't want to take them out of stun, but no, this will do bonus damage, so this will kill them. So we stun, we do this. Ow, look at that picture. She got stunned, and now she can't play any blocks, and we just do this, and... Whoa, that, that was close. She's dead. Victory! Yay! Attacks that damage the opponent are successful. Reactions that negate all damage are successful. Successful actions trigger the card's text box effect. Fantastic. Good to know. All right, so chapter three, combat go. 
Only now do you dare think that you can survive the whole ordeal. The movements still do not come naturally, but the swings are becoming more fluid. With more practices, perhaps you can even make a name for yourself here. Just when you're dreaming of the possibilities, you see a familiar but unwelcome face when the gates open. Uh-oh. Is it Brutus again? It feels like it's going to be Brutus. Like, I have a sneaking suspicion... All right. No, that's not Brutus. It's like my brother or something with green hair. This will be a challenge, but you've already come so far. Now you're ready to learn the mechanics of real combat. Every game starts from a selection of five cards. Then you get discard a card to keep four. All right, so what card do I want to give up? Apply stun to your opponent. They can't play any card. That looks good. Um, all of these look pretty good. I don't want to shield break. Interesting. Uh, I'll get rid of the, the preemptive strike. After that, your opponent does the same. The turn is randomized to see who has the first move. Well, good luck. Go get him. Alright, what's this card over here, though? Like, Vicious Cut. This is just my discard pile? All right, um, here we go. So, uh, we will shield break. Can't block it. And then I'll just try this, see what you got. They got a, a nice defensive card, but they have to discard a card, and we still do some damage. Now we're going to pass. Take that in your face. Perfect lunge. Draw a card. So we're going to actually play Never Give Up to stun them and just ruin their life. Reversal. Perfect block. Look at that. They're stunned. And then we pass. And then it should be our turn. Why is it not? Pass. Yeah, they have to pass, right? Um, end turn. Please pick up a card. One more card to be picked up. What card do I want to keep? A uh, shield break. And then I draw some more cards. End turn. Please discard a card. Um, I'll discard Ray Shield, I guess. And they're discarding. And... Oh, now they get to go. No, no, that was just me discarding. Um, reactor pass. Okay. So this is not a full block, but this will stun them. So I get to draw a card because it was faster. Wait. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait. The card text, it didn't, it wasn't successful, so you don't stun them. Right. But this will work. And then this will make, they don't get to draw a card because um, I reversed them and I healed up. Please discard a card. Oh, because my thing was slow. Um... Alright, discard that, I guess. Evil Twin. Uh, Alright, he wants to do that. Reactor Pass. Um, oh, I can't play this because it's... Sl I need the reactor have the matching range to parry. Apparently, I don't, I don't know why I can't play that. Uh, I guess I passed. Pass. Oh, because... I don't know. I'll play this. Okay, so they had to take the damage, and they got stunned, so I passed. End of the turn. Pass. They passed. All right. So what card do I want? Um, I'll take that one. Please discard a card. Man, you only draw two. Alright, I'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to play... 
sudden strike, see what happens. Oof. They've got the reversal. I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. Oh man, he drew some a bunch of attack cards. I did not. Now luckily he has no cards left, so I can play this. And we get to draw a card. Uh, but we drew a terrible defensive card that does nothing for us. But we can discard it, so there's that. Uh, I guess we'll take that. Alright. And we will discard a uh, Never Give Up. So we have a slight card advantage. All right. Pass. All right, they had to pass. Play that. Yeah, good for you. All right, so now it's their turn. Uh, interesting, I have to pass too. They only have defensive cards. End of the turn. Um, I'll discard Ray Shield, and then I'll try to downward cut, see what they think about it. They had the perfect defense. That's brutal, but hopefully I get to do something. And I can play this, but it doesn't block everything. I do get to draw a card. Now they have to pass, and I'll try this, sure. They blocked a little bit, but they had to take some damage. Pass. Alright, so we get to play this heal and have a reversal. This is nice. Alright, this is tough. Alright, what card do I want? Honestly, I'm going to go with offense. Um, I'm going to take the offensive card, and then um, I need to discard a card. I'll discard that. We'll try to Sudden Strike and Fatal Blow. Like, if they have it, they have it, and there's nothing I can do. Uh, he wants to play this. Oh, no, he discarded that. Okay. I can't do anything to that. I just have to take the damage. Oh, we got him. We stunned him. Uh-oh. Combo time. Can't play anything. They're stunned. I think I can get used to this. Yes. Take that. The start of the game opens with five cards in the hand, and a player must discard a card to begin. Initiative is randomly assigned between players on turn one. Thereafter, it alternates between turns. At the end of the turn, each player picks up a card from play and draws two cards from the deck. Then a card must be discarded from uh, from the hand and the turn. Yes. God, drawing cards is really important in this. Um, I mean, like, I need, like, card draw cards seem really good. Victory is so sweet. The cheer from the crowd makes you dizzy. When the gates opened, you were shocked momentarily by your doppelganger, but you recovered quickly. Now the judges must clear your name for all my crimes. All right. So... Um, we can select a hero, and we can select from warrior, spellslinger, techie, evangelist, or monster. Well, I'm going to, of course, be a spellslinger. Go! And spellslinger, the only thing necessary for the triumph is evil is for good men to do nothing. To preserve justice, you must win, no matter the odds. That's right. That's exactly what I've got to do. I'm going to win. I don't care what you say the odds are. It's going to happen for me. Here we go. All right. Look at that guy. Uh-oh. Start. Wow, look, I have a cool spell book down here. Phobos is the champion. This won't be easy. You cannot hold back. Let me give you some pointers. You are a spell slinger. 
All of your cards consume mana to play. Oh, in the upper right. Okay. But mana is only replenished at the end of every turn. All right. The key to combat is to increase your maximum mana. Playing a card with the blue symbol can do that. With the effect triggering if it's successfully played. Resulting in even more mana throughout the game. I'll give you more hints when the time comes. That's interesting. This is a completely different experience. Okay. So I have to uh, discard a card. Well, that increases mana. That increases my arcane resonance. This applies a headache. And this increases my mana. So let's get rid of this headache. So that I can just boost my mana. I have three mana right now. So he's going... No, he just discarded that. All right. Um, flames. All right. Looks like I got the uh, one. So, uh, increase mana by one, draw a card. Only a spell slinger has access to a spell card. Unlike a normal attack, a spell cannot be blocked. I was wondering, I was like, I don't think you can do anything. Instead, the caster cannot do anything while the spell's being cast. Your opponent could stop the spell by interrupting your concentration. Oh, that's not good. These three orange symbols represent your concentration die. Okay, he's just gonna beat us. Each attack will destroy a symbol. Does it do damage to me as well? Oh my god, it does. Okay, this is un... If you lose them all, the spell will fail. Yeah, it's gonna fail. Pick the right moment. I picked the wrong moment. I, like, opened with it. Oh, he didn't do anything. Okay. Um... Alright, well then I'll do it again. Yeah, he didn't have anything, so I just drew a card. And at this point, I'm down to only one mana. Uh, so I can't do anything because I have two mana cards. So this increases mana, but it doesn't give you your minimum mana back, if that makes sense. Like, my capacity is up to five, but my floor doesn't raise when I cast that spell. So I have to pass. And hopefully he plays a card I can defend against with Rune Wall. Oh, he didn't have anything. Oh, my God. Um, all right, we'll take an attunement. Great. And then uh, I'm going to just get rid of this Tendril's Bagony. I'm just going to keep building up, boosting my mana if possible. All right, they discarded this bullying card. Fine. Get rid of it. I didn't like it anyway. And they're discarding. Reactor Pass. All right. So um, it says, if your health is 15 or less, apply stun. So that's a... Um, I can play... Uh, rune wall and block exactly and boost my mana. So we'll play this. This is a reversal. And we boost our mana. Alright, now it's back to our turn. And we can play uh, I'll play this and just see what they've got. They have a faster block but it doesn't block enough. So we um, this increases arcane resonance. Notice the green symbol, I see that. Some cards become very powerful with high resonance, right? So I'm building up to try to do Tendrils of Agony, where it, like this effect. Okay, great. My turn again. Now I can play this, but then I won't have any mana left, so I'll just try to play this and see what happens. See how many attacks he drops on me. There's one. All right, so I got to draw a card and boost my mana. I will pass. I do have one mana left for Rune Wall if he does anything. He didn't have anything. All right, then. Um, I'll take uh, a Rune Wall back, I guess. Oh, please discard a card. Oh, I didn't mean to... Well, whatever, discard it. I should have taken the mana thing, but... It's okay. Um, Alright, he wants to bully me. So we'll just room wall it. It's an exact reversal. And we boost our mana. And I'll try this. Alright, they block it, but not all of it. So our resonance went up. We will pass. Boy, he has no attacks. Uh, 
I'm trying to think what I want here. I'm going to take the attack card. There we go. We got the X card I was looking for. And let's discard one Mystical Paradox. Alright, they're going to do Solid Stance again. And so I can actually... Oh, no, they discarded that. Never mind. He's playing Double Slash. Alright. So if I play this, um, this is a perfect block. I have eight mana. And then I can play this Tendrils, which is like X is my um, attunement, which is two. Headache says inflict additional damage to your opponent as lightning damage equal to X times the number of cards in their hand. So this would be like six damage to them um, plus the six damage that we've already got. So that's a huge card, but I'm going to play this instead because this will allow us to um, just boost up our resonance, which gives us this, which does even more damage. Uh oh, danger sense. What is this? Oh, so he just played this to nullify our damage. I see, that's interesting. So he gobbled up our card. All right, well, we get to draw. And pass. All right. Yeah, I bet you're picking up that card. Man, so he just has this card forever? No, he discarded it. All right, I'm going to take... Uh, I need a block, so I'll take it. And then we need to discard a card. We can discard... Um, Attunement. All right, let me try this. See what they do. So he plays Swift Reaction, which was faster, but he takes the damage. And then we'll play this and try to do a ton of damage to the guy. God, he had this Danger Sense card. It's so brutal. He just has a complete block. <laughs> Oof. Well, I guess he's got to have something that's good. Um, Reactor Pass. I can't do anything. I'll pass. Um, I'll pick up the card. And please discard a card. Paradox. Yeah, I don't even know why I bother. Um, he's going to try to bully me. I'll play this. It's slower. So I'd have to discard a card. Uh, but that's okay. I'll discard that, and I'll play this, and he'll play his perfect block. Like, it's just going to be... Oh, no, he didn't have perfect block. Oh, he just took a ton of damage. Look at that. He took 12. We finally got that through. So he's at 9. Pass. All right, he's going to bully us. We can't do anything. It doesn't stun us, because we're not... Oh, no, it stunned us finally, because he's low on health doesn't make sense that you would be better at bullying when you're hurt um, but you know usually bullies run away when they start losing uh, but what do I know all right end turn and they're discarding and we pick up a card we'll pick up tendrils of course and we have to discard a card it will be cosmic attunement let's and then it's our turn so we'll see can you do anything about this um, that is not enough this actually should kill him it did Good guys always win. You got that right. We won. Mana is replenished at the end of every turn, and that maximum mana can inc be increased by card effects. Arcane Resonance makes some cards more powerful, and it is built by triggering card effects. Spells are resolved successfully if the opponent fails to interrupt all concentration points and passes. I have to say, I really like the playstyle of that character, and I think it was very unique and interesting. Uh, after a hard-fought battle, you triumphed and have put an end to this shameful chapter. The crowd is shocked by the upset. Phobos the Great has been a champion for many seasons, and now he's toppled by a newcomer. That's right. You have completed the tutorial missions. You are now ready to take on more challenges in the vast land of Corum. Advance to the next stage of your adventure. Sweet. So, um, we get a chest for completing the tutorial. And... Um, we have different characters 
that we can select from lee crystal um atacr and red eye for example awesome so we've completed the tutorial we won with the spell slinger and we can check out some more characters in this game everyone i think this is a good first look at the game and i wonder what you think of it like have you played this um is this something that looks interesting to you do you like games like this let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and impressions are and don't forget the demo is free if you want to just boot it up like i just did on steam uh over this weekend thanks so much for watching take care